Can, can I? Please do. Thank the you. The switch plates are there. I do, I, I've been preparing my entire life for this one. <laughs> Hi friends, thanks for watching How To Food Nation. With me again is Dave, and today is all about some fried alu featuring Axion Lemon Liquid. So let's get frying. Hi, sir. Hello, guys. Thanks, <laughs> thanks. I want to tell you from my heart, thanks for taking me on when I said I wanted something to go with Sada. Because you come today to give me some fried alu. Oh, yeah. Bless you, okay? No problem. Because, so, <laughs> you know, we don't have a lot of problems in life that fry alu don't fix. I mean, come on. All right, so if you're hungry, fry alu will fix it. Heartbreak, right. fry alu can fix that too. You lost your work? Fry, fry alu. alu. Come on. <laughs> so right. let's learn. Teach me. How are we doing this? No problem at all. So what we have right now is some very, very simple ingredients. Mm -hmm. Fry alu is a really simple dish mm -hmm. and it's not complicated whatsoever. So we have um, some diced up onion, mm -hmm. pimento, right. hot pepper, Ooh. garlic, mm -hmm. salt and black pepper. Mm -hmm. And of course, anisa. Anisa, the alu. Right? The potato. So if you notice, guys, these are all cut yeah. in equal size pieces. So right. what you want to do is get it in as much as equal pieces as possible. So mm -hmm. they all cook at the same time. Right, okay. If you have a lot of different size pieces, yeah. some might cook, some might cook. So yeah. yeah, so let's just try to get it all in one size. Okay. And you'll be fine. All right? Cool. Good, I see so, you bring your mommy pot. Yeah. Had to be done. Can't do it without a good old cast iron pot. Right now, the poor lady hungry. She can't cook. <laughs> the I bring eating in the people's studio. All right? So, this has been heating up. Mm -hmm. Nice cast iron pot. And we're going to go in with some plain vegetable oil. Right. There we go. So as usual, we just have to let that heat up a bit. Mm -hmm. When it gets to temperature, then we're going to go in with the ingredients. Can you tell me, do you know why we put potatoes in water? Well, we put the, well, how I learned is that we put the potatoes in water because mm -hmm. if you leave it just out there without any water, it gets yeah. oxidized. Yeah, and then it gets that ugly color. Yeah, that sort of like dark, purpley, darky kind of color mm -hmm. that doesn't really look that, that good. All right, so we Let's keep it go. there to keep it <laughs> nice and fresh. We go in with that to, right. to keep the potatoes pretty. Try in some water. Right, right, guys. So our oil is up to temperature now. Uh huh. So let's start the process. So first, we're gonna go in with some diced onion. Right. Give that a stir. Next up, some pimento. I feel like I'll give you a hand just to pass you some things. Thank since, you so much. Since you know you're working so hard, I wouldn't <laughs> leave you to your own, you know? Thank you so much. Next up, hot pepper. All right. All right. Gotta bring the heat. Thank you. All right. And we're just gonna let this cook mm -hmm. just for a few minutes. And I then we learned the last time yeah. that we don't go straight in with our garlic. Yeah, we don't uh -huh. go straight in with the garlic mm -hmm. because it cooks so much faster than the rest of the ingredients. Right. So we want this to basically cook down a little bit. So we let that boy go. Yeah. Let that cook. Then we're going to add in garlic. Right, so now the onions are getting a little bit softer, so we're going to mm -hmm. add the garlic in now. Sure. There we go. Great. So we're just going to let all this just come together. Mm -hmm. Look for a really slight change in color in the onion. Want it to get a bit more translucent. Okay. All right. Then we're coming in with the starty show. And, and we already reached to that point. It's so easy. That's all it's needed. That's all. Wow. You don't have to overcomplicate fry alu. Um, in fact, the pimento is actually optional. So all you ever okay. really, really need if you don't have pimento, you just need onion and garlic. Okay. And of course, some salt and pepper, and that's it. And, and the alu. Well, <laughs> yeah. Why you do just the alu? Yeah, that's true. So you do need the alu to make fry alu. Come on. Yeah. How you feel? How we going? We're going good there. So, uh -huh. now comes... Hmm, things getting pushed aside. The next part. So as you know, it's been soaking in water, right? Yeah. And of course, water and hot oil doesn't always, you know what I mean, work out nice. Wait, so, so we're not pouring all the water? No, what you have to do is we're going to go in. Mm-mm, child. 
Drain it with your hand. I'll be over here. Mm-hmm. Get ready to run. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Just kidding. Re I'm ready. See? Ah, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't bad at all. <laughs> but nothing much. And then we're just gonna put it in. Give it a nice shake. Nice and easy. Simple, huh? Nice and easy. This I like. This is the kind of work I could do. <laughs> I was expecting to run for the hills. No, man, you save. Just these last two pieces. Everything. That's it, there you All go. All right. So put it on top. Mm -hmm. And now. You gotta mix it up, obviously. We have to mix it up. I mean. All that good stuff on the bottom has to come to your top. Yes. Let me give you some room because you are a left hander like me. I am. I do not want to be smacked in the face today. Life, life is normally difficult as a left hander. You're always in somebody's ah. way, you know? <laughs> always rubbing elbows at somebody. Can you use scissors and uh... pressure, pressure, but we're special, that's all. Yeah, that's right. And so how long does this take to cook generally? So it normally takes anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes, mm -hmm. depending on the size of the potato that you cut up, right. etc. You know and how, how much, much it is. Use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're just turning this around. What we want to do is we want to get the onion and the garlic and the pimento and the hot pepper mixed thoroughly into the potato. Yeah. All right. So we're just gonna stop that at the middle there. Then now we're gonna hit it with some salt. Okay. Okay. Help you out here. Yeah, some salt and some black pepper. And with, with fry aloo, you put a little less salt than you think that you'd need because you could always bring the salt up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a rule of thumb in the kitchen. There you go. Always start with less and then you can add. Yep, a little bit of black pepper. Even the black pepper is a bit optional. Okay, all right, but of course, it's still so good when you add it. I mean, we had a seasoned thing. <laughs> all right, we're gonna turn. Are ah, you hearing the noise now? Yeah, I'm hearing yeah. the action happening. The water now with the oil. And so what are we looking for at this point? So at this point, we're just gonna get just get everything incorporated. Right. Right? Um, when we do when we finish the mix, what we're gonna do is cover it. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna wait five minutes. Okay. So what we want to start looking for after we cover it, mm -hmm. we want the bottom to form that crust, that brown ah. part of fry aloo, mm -hmm. that's where the magic is. That's yeah. the flavor, okay. right? So we're going to leave it covered, right. let that crust start to form. Yeah. It's going to take a few turns, but let it start to form. We're going to open it up. We're going to scrape, etc. right? Okay. Cover it back. So we're going to repeat that process as we go forward. Until it cooks all the way through. Until and it cooks it all the way through. It looks crusty and nice. Yeah. And, you know, fralu is something that everybody has a different way to do it. Mm -hmm. But one thing I think we all agree on, the crust, that is, is, the key. <laughs> that is the key. It's the key. <laughs> right? All right. Cool. Good. So we're going to check this back in about five minutes. Sure. Right, Kez. So it's been about five minutes thereabouts. Looking for the crust. Looking for the crust. How does that smell? So, so good. But you didn't need me to tell you that because you could smell it too. I definitely could, right? So if you notice what I'm looking for, Ooh, starting to see it now. Okay, I feel you. So you've seen so all those bits on the bottom there. All the brown bits. Right. We're lifting that up. Right. You're getting it mixed in, lift up, mix in. Taking it from all angles. Taking it from all. You want Got to it. get that crust off. So it's a kind of push, scrape. Yeah, push, Got scrape. It. That's why this tool, this dabbler really is one of the best yeah. things that you could use because like how it's shaped, yeah. the scraping part is really easy. Awesome. So after we turn up, turn up, mm -hmm. we let it go again. Let it go again. Okay. So we just want crust to form all over. Yum, I can't wait. A little drum roll. <laughs> right, cuz so we've been checking every five minutes. We've been turning and scraping, Ooh. turning and scraping. And look at what we have here now. So you've seen all the brown bits. Mm -hmm. It's changed to a nice golden brown color. It is soft. All that goodness. There's some whole pieces, but there's a lot of mushy pieces as well. Textures. 
So this is going to just explode on your palate. And you've seen all the nice brown crusty bits. Yum. So that's going to be just a lot of flavor. So I'm excited. I so, do have the honor, the honor. Um, an honor that I left for you for the last turn, right? So the last turn? The last for, turn for me? with the dabbler of the ancients. Guys, <laughs> can, can I? Please do. Thank just you. switch places there. I do, I, I've been preparing my entire life for this one. How so now we're done? Yeah, how does that smell? <laughs> so good, so good. I love seeing all those good bits all over in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You just know, even, my, even just looking at it, you know that's going to taste good. It's a feast time. Is a feast time? <laughs> it is. Let's eat. Guys, as Dave was dishing out the fowl, he told me he didn't even bring any sado. Yeah, that's literally why I wore this t-shirt. This is why you came, <laughs> so we could get the alu and have something to eat it with. I know, but it's good just as it is. Well, it has to be because we don't have any sado. I know. Next time. Oh, nice. So, so wait, you're coming back? It seems that I will. <laughs> I'm excited, but let's deal with this alu. It All looks right. so good. Yeah. I have to go in. Now, I want to get some mush. I want to get some chunk. Everything yep. all in the one. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'll wait for you. Ready? Yep. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm mad. I'm mm -hmm. back to being upset. Yeah. I need the Sada now. I know. Well, the great Sada thorn will happen probably for the next time. <laughs> <laughs> but this is so good. I love that. Crust, that nice crust that you get from the bottom of your cast iron pan. Exactly. And you see how um, that I have it with is a lot of brown, there's mm -hmm. some big pieces, there's yeah. some mush, etc. Yeah. So that's how we got it in the in the cast iron pan. Now you could use uh, the traditional big iron pot. Right? I mean, that's the one that we're really most familiar with because not yeah. everybody has a cast iron. Exactly. But because we were using an induction cooker, mm -hmm. we had to use a cast iron. But feel free use your original your granny pot your bomb pot your nice when iron you pot. use those big iron pots mm -hmm. and you get all those things stuck on the bottom and you get all the burn marks on the pot that is drama oh yeah oh yeah but of course <clears throat> but of course all those things are easy fix when you use good old axion i mean come on mm -hmm. like it's easy to clean up so we have no worries cast iron no but iron pot yes definitely so my friend said he coming back to teach me something. Fingers crossed it's Sada. But I'll be happy to have you again. Thanks so much, Dave, of course. And thanks to you guys for watching. Be sure to tell us what more you want to see. What other things that could go with Sada that you want to see us learn all about. Be sure, of course, to follow us and be a part of our Foodie Nation family. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, anywhere. We love to have you. So until next time, guys, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.